But the openness part, I think, is, is something that we take for granted today. We anticipate and we expect an interoperable internet. Uh, and that is dependent upon a principle that uh, the, the standards underneath it, there are parameters that work in a way, and, the, and how they work is openly defined. How they work is not just an industry standard, but there's actually uh, uh, technical standards underneath it that are made out in the open, that, that are not uh, standards that are hidden away somewhere in a proprietary um, system, right? So I think one of the core pieces is to help ensure that this doesn't become a walled garden, that the interoperability that we all have come to take for granted uh, stays that way. Even inside the Great Firewall, you can still navigate to many, many, many places on the internet. And that is because there is an openness principle and a fundamental underneath it that allows for interoperability. You can still get emails uh, through many, many places. And in places that put restrictions on them. You know, we, we heard, we, we've been seeing many cases where there are restrictions placed on access uh, to, to individual sites or a set of sites. And you find that the reason why the population, why the citizens are able to often overcome those restrictions is because there is this fundamental principle of interoperability. And so you can route around these obstacles and these speed bumps that, that come through.